as the day goes on, expect temperatures to be cool. Once again, most of our warm up happening in the second part of the day when we start to dry up, but we've got those showers this morning to get through once those wind down just a few spotty ones left over through midday and plenty of clouds. Once that sun starts to come out again in the second part of the day, temperatures should be back up into the mid 60s. And from there, maybe the upper 60s if we're lucky. Here's that low pressure system still left over, of course, dragging mostly to our south, which puts us on the cooler side of this and also providing those showers. High pressure system moves over ahead of us tomorrow, so the dry weather that they have over the Midwest now will arrive for us tomorrow afternoon, which should be really nice. Already brewing a system over the Great Plains and the Rockies. That is going to be heading towards us for Thursday, bringing us another rainy day. So the dry up that we get tomorrow is going to be brief. Here's that rain left over for this morning. Obviously by noon, not a lot of that left. And as you're headed home from work, a spot shower at the very most, but clouds are beginning to break up tomorrow morning. Mostly clear to start. So let's check out the afternoon here on Futurecast. I think they are overdoing it on the clouds here. I think we'll see plenty of sunshine. That said, clouds increase on Wednesday night very quickly and by early, early Thursday morning, scattered showers will take back over. Scattered rain and a few thunderstorms by Thursday afternoon. You might get a little sun in between. It's also a little bit cooler again after a really nice warm day tomorrow and all that sunshine. Friday, just a few showers left over. Most of those to the south leads us into a near perfect weekend. Plenty of sunshine and near 80 for Saturday and Sunday.